says uh, MXP. Interesting choice here in Mirage. Winning the knife round, but uh, starting on the T side. So weird. But Devils should be pretty happy, um, considering that. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that if they'd won the knife round, they would have gone. They, they, they would have opted for CD sign. So uh, I think they'd be pretty comfortable. In the meantime, while they're warming up, I'm just gonna alt tab out real quickly and just check uh, if my messages are working fine. Welcome to the stream, guys. It's a uh, lazy Friday evening, at least for me. And uh, it's still warming up here. In the meantime, I'm just uh, gonna check if everything else is working fine so there's not going to be any issues once uh, the game is live and uh, yep i hope you guys can hear me loud and clear i hope you guys can see the game crystal clear as well a little bit of go tv lag but much 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 better than what it was earlier and we're going to go live here without much further ado and it's going to be devils facing off against team mxb the live match is going live three two one and here we go pistol round coming in here as mxb Winning the knife round, taking the T side. And let's see what they do have planned here. Oh, come on, don't tell me this is gonna be the same thing. Oh, there we go. I don't know why this bug is coming up. I've never really noticed this bug. But here we go. The Buster and Reflex with this four, three men pushing B. And this is a very standard strat we usually see out from this team, as they're gonna be pushing out B here. While the C4 is going to get planted over at uh, at A, Ryuzaki, the only man left inside of the connector, is he going to spot anyone? He's just waiting, he's just still waiting here. We smoked it off. The push hasn't come in yet though from uh, MXP, they're just waiting for the smoke to dissipate. And then they should try and push out here so the team, so the C4 can get planted. Here we go, the push comes out and it's going to be Lunatic who gets the first frag. Lunatic and Neymar are getting two quick kills. Rizzi and Reflex falls down and they should be able to get the bomb down though. It's now a six, sorry, 5v3 situation, and uh, Ruzaki, he spots the man. The bomb is going to go down, though, and it's now a 2-3v5 situation. As uh, the Tech-9, it's going to be power, but gets one. His Hell Ranger picks up one frag as well. It's going to be the Tech-9 is still very, very overpowered. Ruzaki alive in the corner. He's going to get taken down. And the last man alive is going to be Lunatic, who goes down to Buster, and that's going to be uh, a pretty uh, easy round there, 3v5. But uh, easy round for uh, Team MXP there. And uh, I'm very surprised that that retake coming in from Devils was uh, a little uncoordinated. Just went in one by one, getting picked off there. I really felt they should have waited for all the team, all, all the members to rotate over from B and then go for the retake together. But, uh, well, everything is much more easier on hindsight. And it's reflex with the scout trying to get lucky at mid. We have four men in B here, one man in Cat and three men Inside of B, as now we have Lunatic, who's gonna go all the way over to A. But the rest of Team MXP, they're making their way slowly here as Reflex, he spots the man there. And that's uh, Rizaki, he's gonna fall back. Music, just trying to spot out a man. He spots one man, Paradise though, in that corner, just holding that angle. And it's a pretty much a full eco run coming out from, uh, well, from Devils, except for Surveys. SRV Ace buying up for the Pistol Lama. Pretty interesting why he would have chosen to do that while the rest of his teams were on uh, Eco. And the push is going to be coming in as a Paradise. They're looking at the corner. What can he do? He's completely smoked off as Buster gets one. Neymar gets a reply frag on the Buster here. And Paradise. He gets one. They haven't spotted him yet. And this is falling over. Paradise picks up a double kill. It's down on a Rizzi. And uh, Reflex, all the Rizzi is going to get the shot though. And it's the last man standing. The Reflex is going to fall to Surveys. It's a 1v1 situation. And Rizzi is only on 3 HP. And uh, this could go Devil's Way. A great eco run coming out if they're able to get the... Uh, he's able to get the, the clutch here. Although, even if he doesn't get the clutch, this is huge work coming out from... Uh, this is huge work coming out from Surveys. Sorry, from Devils. It was a full eco, mind you. Except one man buying the... Uh, buying up armor, which was Surveys himself. And this is plant. He doesn't have the kit. He is gonna get taken out of Rizzi. Rizzi playing that clutch perfectly. And it's gonna be the second round here for MXP. But what a great round that was for Devils. Taking away four guns from uh, MXP. And uh, that's gonna hurt their economy quite badly. But of course, you gotta buy it up. 
four AKs all around, just uh, Galil on power, aka Miss Sunday. I don't know what that means though, maybe an inside joke. Three smokes, and they're just gonna rush out uh, A here, not gonna waste any time, as a push is gonna come out. It's gonna be Sunday, and Buster, Buster gets one. And Ranger picks up one as well. Sunday, Miss Sunday gets a frag of, of for himself, and it's gonna be last man. That's gonna be in the side. That's gonna be Lunatic. Nice shot on the Buster, but it's gonna be the last man left alive, and that's gonna get picked up by Sunday. I'm just gonna reduce the uh, the camera speed because it's kind of a little slow here. There we go. Should be much more better. And there we go, 3-0 to MXB, so a great start for them. Although they did lose a lot of men initially, and now we do have the full buy coming out from uh, Devils. Uh, four M4s, we do have an open Paradise, and let's see what he's gonna do. We do have an open Reflex as well. Reflex, they're going for the mid play. Paradise not spotting anyone. And he's gonna head over to Window, where he's gonna be waiting for anyone to come short. Playing his pass on me. We do have four men from MXP just lurking near A slope while Reflex is just going to be lurking mid trying to pick up a rotating CT and the play should be coming in here as it's going to be Ryuzaki. Gonna get smoked off. Hellranger gets caught out there with Surveys pushed up really deep and Ryuzaki is going to get caught, caught out in the middle of nowhere but Surveys still lurking in Palace. They know he's there though and it's going to be Miss Sunday who finds his head. Lunatic gets a frag on the Reflex so it's now a 3v3 situation as uh, Paradise in that corner, in the off. he's got a lot of shots, he's not able to even get a shot off as Buster takes him down. It's out a 2v3 as Music and Lunatic are left in an afterplan situation, the bomb is taking away. And uh, Neymar, kind of smoked up, he spots the man, he's going to spray him down, gets one, he's going to get a second of the Buster. Buster pretty low in health, he's going to try and play the safe here, and he is going to get picked off by Sunday. Miss Sunday, missing his shots, or her shots. <laughs> As it's going to be 4-0 here for Team MXB as uh, Devils and now will now be forced to once again go for another eco. Uh, been noticing they don't like going for this armor pistol boys. Fair enough. Some teams don't like doing it. Some people, uh, some teams prefer doing it. But uh, 5-7 USP, uh, P250s and a couple of 5-7s to play with. They do have two smokes as well. So, and MXB, they're not wasting any time. They know they're on eco and they're just going to push it short here. And it's going to be Rizaki gets one. Paradise gets one as well. And... Uh, Rizzy, team kill on the Hell Ranger, and this is falling apart for MXB. This is going to be a 2v4 situation, and Ryuzaki's got his hands on an AWP as well. And Nima going to push out though. Bomb's going to get planted, but it's now a 1v4 situation for Buster. And what can he do is he's going to get caught out, and that's going to be the first round going the way for Devils there. And a great eco round coming out from Devils. Um, and also a little bit of very rash play coming out from MXB, I would say. They didn't really... They didn't really pick that out. They just they knew that the uh, their opponents were an eco, but just rushing in uh, through cat there, especially the first guy. He didn't even have his gun out, and a little sloppy play coming out from MXP. A little overconfident, I'd say. And uh, we have a we have a man getting dropped out, Buster getting timed out, and pause coming in here. So the first round coming in for Devils. That's who an eco round. They should be pretty happy with themselves about that. Uh, full buy coming out as well. And, uh, yeah, 4 1 here. MXP, great start for them, but, uh, the Devils, though, um, looking a little dicey. I, I'm really not sure, like, when they, you know, when they go for these eco buys, like, a couple of people before spying up, I'm not sure it's some, that's something advisable. Uh, it is a team game after all, and, uh, of course, they won the eco round, so that worked out. But I really felt that wasn't Devils and Alcohol or Devils doing anything great. But I think that was uh, MXP just kind of throwing that round away. Just rushing in and getting caught out, getting choked uh, in short, panicking a little bit. There was a team kill that came in. The, the, the first man inside the entry fragger was also not... Uh, the entry fragger wasn't, wasn't also ready. He just quick switched back to his pistol or to his knife there when he was supposed to take the... Uh, you know, take the... Uh, it was when he was supposed to be entry fragging. When you entry fragging, you don't go rushing it with a smoke or crying out loud. And uh, a team kill coming in as well. And uh, that was a round which MXP kind of threw away. Will that come back to haunt them later on in the game? Let's see. As it is going to be 4 1 here, as Devils and Alcohol pick up their first round. DNA. I'm going to call him DNA. Oh, that's a cool name. DNA. Devils and Alcohol. As we have all five members from. 
MXP just waiting for the smoke to come in. And here we go, the flash is waiting and Ryuzaki is gonna get smoked off, but Cerveis there, lurking, lurking there. He's gonna spot one, he's gonna get flashed out, he's gonna get taken down by Tower, and it's uh, Ryuzaki who gets one re reply frag on his Sunday, and the Lunatic takes on Reflex, and uh, very late jungle smoke coming in. Uh, I don't know why that was, but here we go. 3v3 after plan situation. The bomb is down, as it's going to be the retake coming in here. CD spawn hasn't been smoked off, as uh, Neymar going to come in here. Neymar picks off Buster. It's a 2v2 situation. He's going to get his head ripped off by Rizzy. It's all down to paradise here. 1v2. The bomb is ticking away. It really doesn't have much more time remaining here. He's completely blinded with a flashbang coming in, and he should be trying to hold on to his rifle. He spots the man. Man just tagged down uh, Rizzy to 18 HP, but he should be falling back and trying to hold on to his rifle here, and that's exactly what he's going to do. As he's going to get hunted out, but he's going to be able to hold on to his gun as Hell Ranger managed to survive that uh, explosion. 5-1 to MXP. Once again, very sloppy push coming out from them, but uh, able to get those entry frags, which uh, kind of worked out uh, in the end. Um, for those of you asking, uh, alright, let's see here, brackets, uh, brackets are, is available on GG Networks, uh, on a Facebook page, we do have the next game coming up, there's gonna be Eliunes, that is the ex-Virtual Impact lineup facing off against Brutality, that's gonna be one hell of a game, meanwhile, the Paradise gets an opening frag on Reflex, Rizzy, though, avenges his teammate almost immediately, and surveys, is gonna peek out, gonna flash out, there's no nade coming in, not gonna do much damage to Rizzy, Rizzy, gonna get his head, gonna get taken down there, not doing any damage whatsoever either, and so now a 4v3 situation, advantage, devils and alcohol. I don't know why service is looking at B carpets when he has his teammate inside there. Um, Trevin Hamsey, um, donate, if you scroll down my uh, my Twitch page, you, you should find a donate link there. You just gotta click there and that goes to my uh, Twitch, my Steam uh, trade URL, you know, the... Uh, the Steam Trade URL, it's there in the uh, bottom. Not bottom, you just gotta scroll down a little bit. You'll see all Facebook and YouTube links and all that. Meanwhile though, Hell Ranger is taking the point here. They know he's there. And, ooh, a TK coming out from Hell Ranger. That's, that's bad miscommunication coming out from uh, the Team MXB. A surveys takes on Hell Ranger and it's gonna be the last man left alive. It's gonna be Buster who gets one. He gets a second kill, but he's gonna finally follow the race, and that's gonna be a very important second round, going the way of Team Devils there. And uh, a little bit of weird miscommunication coming out between Hell and uh, Hell Ranger and Miss Sunday. Kind of weird, but now they will be definitely forced to go for the eco. Might see a couple of uh, oh, yeah, a Tech Nine coming out, a couple of P250s, a couple of flashes, and they should be going for this B play by the looks of it, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. The Yolo B play, and it's gonna be survey. It's gonna be seeing a lot of action right now. Flash coming out though, surveys. And uh, that's actually Lunatic who's caught out completely. Flash is spraying blindly there, and Surveys still alive. He could do massive damage. He's looking to corner. This is a good play from him. He gets one. Uh, Ryuzaki picks up a second on Rizzi, but the bomb hasn't planted and they've done the job. Hell Ranger though, he picks up the M4, gets one, gets a second kill, and this is huge play coming out from the in game later for MXB. He's gonna peek out though, gonna spray, gonna get his head ripped off, and it's gonna be the last man standing. Miss Sunday's playing this perfectly. He gets spotted out though, and it's gonna be now Paradise who manages to get the frag, and it is going to be the round going the way for MXP, but they should be happy with this, get the bomb down, they got the bomb down, and they got uh, three kills as well, taking away three rifles away, and it is of course going to be the third round coming on, uh, coming the way, going the way for doubles and alcohol, and it's going to be 5-3, still in favor of MXP, and now they should be pretty happily easily, easily able to buy up, no ops coming out though for the terrorists, while uh, the doubles will be having the AWP on Paradise. Let's see where he's gonna go with the AWP. He's been playing pretty passively so far, um, and right now it's gonna be the A smoke, A play coming out here, where they have Ryuzaki and uh, Surveys, sorry. sorry, that's it, Ryuzaki and uh, Nima, I'm sorry, just lurking underneath the uh, underneath palace. The smoke's gonna rain in right now. Gonna be Nima has got to do huge work here. The flashback gonna completely blind Miss Sunday. Rizaki is going a little aggressive, and Nima has got to do massive work here. He's completely blinded by a team flash, and he's got no one checking here. This is really, really, really sloppy play coming out from MXB as Rizaki finds Miss Sunday as well. Now three v four situation here. 
as uh, it's gonna be Rizaki. If caught up by reflex, reflex. Oh, Paradise misses an easy shot onto Reflex and brings it now back to a 3v3 situation. Two men, one in Tetris, one in Sandwich there. Reflex gets one, still tapping away. Gonna spray and take on Paradise. Last man standing is going to be a Lunatic. 1v1 situation. The bomb is planted for him. He could stick the Diffuse here, but Buster is playing this perfectly. No time remaining, and it is going to be Buster. <laughs> Panic spray coming out, but that's okay. As a Lunatic, he did get the triple kill, but it is going to be 6-3 here, and that client says Hell Ranger. It looks like a lot of people complaining about the uh, client and the FPS drops. And a pause coming in. Um, the pause coming in here while... Stra Once again, very, very strange buy from... Uh, very very strange buy coming in from um, Devils and Alcohol DNA because if you look at it, I have no idea why uh, Music bought up completely. He has everything. I mean, he bought up armor, M4, smokes, flashes, nades, everything, and Ryuzaki with the kit and the CZ, and uh, the rest of the team are an eco. So either Nima does huge work and gets I don't know a triple kill at the very least. Or it's a complete waste of money here, and uh, the, I really don't know what uh, Devils are thinking at the moment. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's uh, maybe uh, you know a little bit of money, uh, money discipline lacking on the side of the Devils. That's what I feel. And uh, for MXB though, they uh, have. Had some very sloppy plays, but they are winning these duels, these one v one or two v one duels, and that's uh, and that's working out for them. And uh, a little bit of sloppy play though. And if uh, I'm just predicting, if uh, you know MXB will face off against, let's say, uh, a, a higher tier team like um, Virtual Impact. Or, I'm sorry, they're known as Aliens right now. So if MXB faces off against Aliens or maybe Neckbreak or even A4D for that matter, who managed to take down uh, take down Neckbreak earlier today. Or brutality. Uh, this little sloppy place, like not checking certain obvious angles, can definitely cost them really, really badly. So, uh, right now, M M Master uh, Masturbators MXB. <laughs> um, leading here, six three on the T side. Mirage winning the knife, winning the knife round, choosing to start on the T side. Surprising choice, but it's, so far it's working out for them. But like I said, they really, really do need to. Uh, step it up if they you know step up their play and stop making these small little uh, communication related mistakes if they want to really make an impact at least in the indian scene at the moment in the meantime here's a really funny story um uh, so team mxp um it was found by me and Hellranger back when the ESL1 qualifiers came into, uh, were hosted by Nordwin Gaming last year in, um, I think it was May, if I'm not mistaken, May or June, I forget. I think it was June, yeah. And uh, we're just a bunch of people who are like, All right, you know what, let's just play, let's just you know, play the tournament. And then we're like, well, but what do we call ourselves? So it was a fine evening, and uh, I think it was Friday evening, I'm sitting back there, I'm drinking some beer, I'm a little drunk, playing some Counter-Strike, and I'm like... And Hellranger was uh, was baiting me. He he baits a lot. He used to bait a lot. I think it's improved now though. So he used to bait a lot. And I used to be like, dude, stop baiting me, man. You're such like you know a godlike baiter. And then I'm like, wait a minute. You're you're like a master baiter. And for those of you who don't know what baiting means, baiting means letting a team go in front of you and not uh, you know kind of baiting your teammate out. You know what I mean? Like uh, not backing him up. Like letting a teammate die just so that you get the, you get a shot at the at the at the enemy. And I'm like, Master Beta is a brilliant name. And uh, that's what we call it. We call it Master Beta. And later on, we realized that once we came fourth in ESL 1 qualifiers, we we're like, okay, we can't carry on with this name because the sponsors are going to hate us for this. And uh, that's why we kind of rebranded it back to MXB. And it's going to be Paradise who falls here and Lunatic as well. But it's going to be Nima with the M4. A little short. And uh, he's caught out here. The only man with any gun to play it to. Uh, to any weaponry to speak of. He's gonna get spotted by Rizzy. And he's gonna spray though, but Rizzy's gonna rip his head off. And it's gonna be the last one left alive. It's gonna be Cerevace here. Just with the P250. And Buster. 
got it. Jumping shot, and there he goes. And it's gonna be a flawless run going the way of Masturbators. And 7 uh, 3 is the scoreline here. Money still in a very precarious situation for uh, DNA, Devils and Alcohol. And I really don't know why Nima bought up that round. I really don't understand why he bought up that round. Because they could have got, they could have really gone for a force buy at the very least. Maybe, uh, you know, Famas Armor or something by now. But Nima buying up that round pretty much uh, ruined that plan. But now, though, once one more eco coming out, double eco. As Reflex. Looking in carpets here, where a lunatic is waiting. The bomb's right behind Reflex as well, and uh, Reflex just staring into the wall. And lunatic, uh, he does have a 5-7 that can do massive damage if they don't check the corner. And the a fake coming out here. And, uh, and that's gonna draw the lunatic, and this is and this is a great play coming out from Hell uh, from uh, Hell Ranger's team at XP. There's one man still looking there. Surveys takes on Rizzi. But the bomb should be going down here. There's a man on top. Hellrage is looking a little lost here. But Buster takes on Paradise. Surveys falls as well. And it's going to be a complete shutdown there. And even though that was a fake, uh, they really didn't need the bomb to be planted as well. As it's going to be A3 here to Team MXP. And I'm, I'm sure I'm going to see uh, Hellranger checking out the. Uh, the VODs for this game later on, and uh, I'm gonna call him Hell Rager. Anyone of you who's played with him knows how much he rages. So, <laughs> but right now MXP looking really strong at the moment as Rizzy takes a shot, not able to land one though. As Nima underneath there, he gets one, and it's a great shot from him as Buster goes down. He's all alone here. As a Nate is gonna dag him down to half HP. Paradise takes on Hell Ranger. Hell Ranger just walking out. 10 HP remaining on him, and he's gonna get taken down by Rizzy. It's a 3v3 situation here. Paradise with the op. But uh, a little bit too late. As uh, Surveys, though, managed to get the frag onto Rizzy. And now it's a 2v2 situation. And uh, the bomb is dropped as well, as Power is gonna get taken down by Surveys. Surveys so doing great work here in Connector. And it's gonna be the last man left alive. It's gonna be Re Reflex, who is uh, slowly working his way through Palace. Reflex, a very, very experienced player, at least in the uh, Indian scene. He's got one man, Graze, but not able to land the killing shot as Paradise takes him down. And it's going to be the fourth round here, fourth round coming in for uh, DNA, and a pause coming out as well. So lots of pauses, lots of pauses here as uh, people are getting disconnected left, right, and center. And, uh, well... There's nothing much I can do. It seems like there's a huge issue when it comes to the uh, so strong uh, client and uh, you know it affecting the game. And I don't blame them because I remember back in ESCA, um, I've actually played ESCA back long, long time ago, um, like in 2009, I think. And 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 I remember when uh... <laughs> shout out to Blair. So. <laughs> Um, shout out to Blay from the admin, yay! And uh, what was I about to tell you guys? Yeah, so I remember when uh, you know the ESCA uh, client was available back in the day. Uh, they had a lot of issues as well. It kind of affected the game a lot, and uh, hopefully, you know, over time, once you optimize a client, it gets better. But uh, right now, a lot of players are facing a lot of issues. And just uh, analyzing the game here. Now, <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys watched the previous game. So it was Eleunes, uh, a.k.a. Virtual Impact, uh, facing off against a team called Noobs Forever in the previous game on Mirage. And uh, Eleunes were 10-0 up before the server crashed. And it was kind of funny and adorable at the same time. Noobs Forever, I don't know who those players were, but uh, they were getting completely wrecked, completely wrecked by Eleunes. And uh, I think one of the guys was like, what rank are you guys? And that was really funny that, you know, Virtual Impact, one of the best teams in the country and, you know, a team participating in so in this online tournament, they don't even know who the top team is. Uh, it's kind of weird as uh, Paradise with the op. Almost spotted Reflex. A little surprising to see Reflex with the op instead of Rizzy, uh, who is the main opera here. It's going to be Paradise, not able to take the shot. A little bit too slow there, buddy, as uh, he disconnects as well. <laughs> I don't know if there's a rage quit, as Miss Sunday just opened things up over an A side. And it's going to be uh, 
the A side completely in control of with Masturbators once more here. And it's all down to Lunatic and Surveys and they should be trying to hold on to rifles here. Survey is gonna get his head ripped off there by Hellranger. And the last one left alive Sunday, Miss Sunday, takes out Lunatic. And uh, Lunatic and Survey is not even able to get off one single round there. And uh, that's some pretty good shots coming out from MXP. And uh, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um, who, who was that? I think that was Paradise. Like, he missed a shot. Like, he didn't miss the shot. He just didn't fire. Like, it was, it was really, really slow to react to uh, Reflex speaking out. And the second he gets his head ripped off, it just gets disconnected. So I'm probably thinking, you know, is he probably, I don't know, rage quit? Oh, no, he's back. So it wasn't a rage quit. <laughs> and it's going to be 9-4 here to Team MXB as DNA will be going for the eco here. So they can at least buy up on their final round. 14th round coming out in the first half. And uh, right now MXP should be feeling it should be feeling pretty comfortable with where they are right now. Nine rounds on the T side. And it looks like uh, the the side choice from Hellranger actually working out for them. But the aggressive slow push, four men pushing slow, catches up Rizzy all alone. And uh, Hellranger though. They have all the information they need, and Hellranger is still lurking in Palace, and he's going to get a frag onto, uh, onto uh, one man there. Hellranger picks up a surveys as well, reflex lurking mid, but there's a man who is, uh, that's music, Nima, sorry, pushing into Palace, but he's going to spot Buster, and uh, Miss Sunday he has a CZ, close range, that could get an easy frag. Gonna take down Buster, picks up his AK, but he's gonna get taken down by Sunday. This Sunday, avenging his teammate there. And the last man standing is gonna be, of course, uh, Lunatic. He has his hands on an AK. Hell Rangers, Virgin Annihilator, which I'm sure, if you look at NXP there, NXP, FYI, is my, is my uh, team, um, it's my Twitch moderator, as, as well as, of course, uh, was MXP's uh, team manager. And I'm sure he borrowed that rifle. Just to show off in the tournament. Ah oh, hell. What will I do with you? Final round coming out in the first half. 10-4 for MXP and a T side. A great performance coming out from them. Although a lot of sloppy play uh sloppy plays as well. But uh, Paradise misses a shot. Very wide peak coming out from Paradise, and that's something you really can't afford. As uh, Rizzy is gonna rip his head off. Instant brain surgery and reflex doing a little bit of a shaky thing over there as Lunatic takes up Rizzy. Lunatic pushing really aggressive. Buster though gets far out, but he's gonna fall back as Hell Ranger and Connector. Gonna get far out of Buster. Takes one down. Hell Ranger not able to get a frag on the Nima, but he's gonna kill him beyond the grave with the Molotov. And it's gonna be the last man left alive, Yuzaki, who's gonna get instant brain surgery with that AK round to his head. And uh, there we go. It's gonna be a good half being called 11 to 4 here for. Uh, MXP, another boss coming in, but uh, this is, but this is gonna be a very very tough uh, hill to climb for Devils here. Just four rounds on the CD side, and uh, MXP with uh, eleven rounds on the T side, they should be feeling very very comfortable with with with, with uh, where they are right now. Lunatic getting dropped out as well. Power getting dropped out as well. So right now it's a 4v4 and hopefully uh, it should get better. Hopefully. In the meantime, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, next game is going to be, of course, Elunes facing off against Brutality. And uh, just give me a second. All right, so we got Lunatic coming back in, and Power should be coming in as well. And now we got Lunatic dropping out again. So major issues being faced off. Major f issues being faced by all the players here, and uh, it's always it's always a tough thing, you know. Um, but at the same time, it's always risky again playing without a client. Now the ESCA client, of course, has perhaps the best anti-cheat in the world. I don't know much about. Uh, 
I don't know much about. Uh... Oh, there we go. We got all players in now. <laughs> and now we got a reflex dropping out. Oh, wow. This is uh, absolutely disastrous. <laughs> People dropping out left, right, and center. But like I said, yeah, it's always a risk of playing without a client, in which case there's always a risk of hackers, and you know how many hackers there are. I think that we even remember um, was the, I think the ESL Weekly Championship last last year, in which uh, we had a team from Calcutta who um, who were cheating, who won, who defeated Virtual Impact in the finals, who won it, and then got disqualified for hacking. Uh, I forgot what the name of the team was, though. I think it was uh, Vital Forces or something. And uh, yeah... So that was pretty hilarious. I mean, yeah, you find hackers left, right, and center, but it's kind of sad the mentality uh, when it comes to you know hackers. And uh, I mean, I'm an Indian myself, but I sometimes get so annoyed, to put it very mildly, about the mentality when it comes to uh, players. Because if you really think about it, what are the top three teams in India? It's vo it's Virtual Impact, aka Eludes. There's Neckbreak, and of course there is a Brutality. And if you look at these players, they've been people playing from uh, back in 1.6. These guys have been playing for so many uh, years now. Now you gotta ask yourselves, where are the new players? Of course, we have a few teams like MXB, we have a few teams like uh, Team Nuisance, and you know, a couple of other teams coming up as well. But where are everyone else? You know, where are all the new players who, you know, I, I don't find any uh, players really stepping it up or standing out. And you gotta ask yourselves, where is everyone? And I'm gonna go back to that in the meantime though. Um, we're gonna be going live here. Mr. Ron coming out here as it is gonna be an A play coming out. A fake coming out from the devil, making a lot of noise, but they shouldn't really fall for this. And it's, you shouldn't really fall for this because they are trying the same thing which MXB tried here. And uh, there we go, Rizzy spots out the man pushing out. Hellranger takes on Ryuzaki. The fake is not going to quite work out. No smokes as well. Buster getting caught out, but he's going to survive here. And Reflex comes charging in as well. Look in the corner there. Music takes down. And Nima, sorry, takes on Rizzy. And a 3v4 Aftermath situation there. Buster and Hell. Hell actually taking on Paradise. And it's now down to 2v4 situation. That lunatic. And Nima. Nima looking CD spawn there. He's going to spot all the man. Takes down that one man. The health though. Pretty low here for MXB on Hell Ranger, but Reflex and Miss Sun is still alive. They know exactly where Nima is. Nima peeking out there, but it's gonna get his head ripped off by Reflex. And it's gonna be pretty easy retake at the end of the day uh, for MXB. And that's gonna make it 12 4 here. Uh, for those of you asking about English, I would appreciate it if you kept the, uh, the chat in English. Because uh, it is an international cast after all. It is an international stream. I do stream primarily for Southeast Asia and internationally as a whole. So we don't have our, I don't have my mod around today, uh, NXP. Or else you would be feeling his uh, wonderful ban hammer. But dude, please try and keep it in English. As Reflex takes down uh, Nima there. This is a, the first time we're seeing an armor pistol bike coming out as Hell Ranger. It's this Sunday, everyone going to help themselves to a frag apiece. Ruzaki, the last man left alive, just with a Tech 9 here. He's gonna pick up the FAMAS off the fallen CT. But he's gonna get his head ripped up by Hell Ranger. Hell Ranger not gonna miss those easy shots. So it's gonna be 13 4 here for MXB while uh, DNA will be forced to go for an eco. And uh, game crashed. <laughs> and another pause coming out as Hell Ranger's game is crashing out. And this has been the game of pauses here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's. Uh, it's frustrating for everyone involved, for players, for myself as well, and uh, at least the Go TV is much better. I was having insane Go TV lag in the first game between A4D against uh, Neckbreak earlier today, but uh, hopefully, I think should be uh, things should hopefully step up later on. For the time being, though, thirteen four to MXB, and they are looking absolutely in pristine uh, form here. Go go, they say. I think we've been paused about 10, 15 times already. As MXB are on the verge of winning the second game here. They won the first game 16-4 yesterday on, uh, on Dust2. And uh, 
Let's see if they're going to replicate the same scoreline this time as well, as it's going to be the Byron coming in. I mean, sorry, the uh, Eco run coming in for uh, DNA. And DNA looking little... I mean, not to this anyone, but a very matchmaking sort of gameplay coming out. And even... Uh, even MXB, they've been playing very, very, uh, what you call it, very, very uh, risky risky games, like uh, careless games, I would say, not really uh, playing it that seriously, making small little mistakes here and there, but overall, uh, the coordination has been uh, much, much better than Devils, as well as the aim being kind of on point, so... Uh, Have three men here. Riz, uh, Rizzy just looking underneath here. As look at Sunday, Miss Sunday, he's pushed in or she's pushed in all the way. And Rizzy, great for all his word, <laughs> gonna get the frag, but Rizaki is gonna rip his head off. But uh, that's okay. His reflex, Hell Ranger, and Buster are all there. There. And is the bomb gonna go down? Is the question. The bomb is gonna go down, and Devils should be pretty happy with that. His reflex gonna take the head off uh, Lunatic. Two men left alive. Last man left alive. Ruzaki is gone. <laughs> Get the frag on reflex. How is that man still alive? As Miss Sunday is going to finish things off. And it's going to be 14 4 here for MXP as uh, the Devils will now go for the potentially the last proper buy they can do for the uh, for this entire game 14 4 and their backs are against the wall and now is the time for them to really really step it up if they want to entertain any thoughts of winning this game. Giveaways. When is my next giveaway? Once I have some money. Or if someone donates me some skins, because right now I am so broke. I lost all my bets in ESL uh, for ESL Katowice. I, I was thinking I'd get a lot of, you know, a lot of skins and uh, be able to donate some skins, but unfortunately I lost everything I invested. And that's a lesson for you boys and girls. Never bet. And, uh, meanwhile though. Lunatic takes on Hell Ranger, but already they are a man to the good here for MXP. And look at Miss Sunday is pushed in mid, and Rizzy takes on Lunatic. And this is just falling apart here for DNA as they're just uh, two men left against four very very angry MXP members who are not missing the shots right now as Buster. And Miss Sunday pushing in there very aggressively. It's all under Nima. It was all alone. 1v4 situation. And for those of you who are unaware, Miss Nima is. Ooh. And uh, Nima, I think I saw the lag for him right there. But he wasn't even able to move the crosshair. So I gotta feel a little bit bad for the guys here. So yeah, for those of you who are unaware, Miss uh, Sunday is power. There's a power cut himself. So here's a joke. What happens when uh, power gets dropped from a team? He gets power cut. That was a horrible joke, I know, but... As a last round coming out here, uh, as MXB looks like they're gonna be winning this game very, very comfortably. Reflex going really aggressive in mid as Rizzy gets the opening frag here. Reflex got a spray, gets one! And he's got his teammate to back him up. <laughs> and the Tech 9 <laughs> being a little bit too much for both power and Reflex to handle. Hell Ranger though in B side. Ooh, he's gonna get taken up a lunatic, and that leaves it in a 2v3 situation here. As the bomb is in mid. Rizzy misses a shot. And he's gonna get dinked down. It's all down to Buster here, who's made his way all the way to carpets. And this could be huge as Rizzy. All he's gotta do is stay alive for a while and just get one pick. But uh, Buster coming in. He takes on Ruzaki. The lunatic takes on Rizzy. It's all down to Buster to finish things off here. 1v2 situation and with map and match point with his team here. As Buster, he's gonna get to. He's gonna push out. Flashes with the spots of man there. Takes him down. It's the last man left alive. There's gonna be Lunatic. As Buster comes around, he got a spray for all his wood. He gets the. Kill as well, but has absolutely no time, and that's going to be one more round going the way for DNA. Valid effort coming up from Buster, but a little bit too slow. A triple kill coming in from the man, and D DNA, they stay alive in the game. They still stay alive in the game. 15 5 is the score line. And MXP, they should be very, very comfortable here. Quite a decent money to go for a force buy. 
Actually, enough money to go for a very comfortable buy, as it's gonna be, uh... Let's see what they're gonna do here. Going for the mid-play once more, where, uh, Reflex with the op. Picks up, gets a frag. Easy frag for Reflex. And that's what I'm talking about. Very, very, um... Uh, Careless play coming out from Devils. Like, one thing, you never stay out like that. You never push out mid like that. And Sunday, Miss Sunday just caught out there. That's very, that's again very crappy play coming out from Power there. You should never just go down there when you don't have your teammate marking mid for you. Because if you're just like sitting on top and no one's marking mid for you, what if someone catches you out? So, a little bit sloppy play coming out from both teams. But, uh, aim wise, aim wise, it's looking absolutely, absolutely uh, on point here. B, but Buster is gonna get taken down. The 2v1 is all on Hellranger. 1v1 situation. A bomb is dropped. Lunatic. Doesn't he know where the shots came from? I'm sure he did. As it's gonna be Hellranger. Bomb has been planted. Hellranger against uh, DNA. And uh, uh, for those of you asking about NXL Skyward game, I did cast a game yesterday. Um, I had a lot of issues from my end. But. Uh, that game got completed pretty comfortably, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think it was Skyred who won that game very, very comfortably. And now the 1v1 situation here, and it's gonna be Lunatic. He's gonna clutch it around for his team. He manages to clutch it. And Devils still stay alive in, it, in this game here. 6, six to 15 is uh, the scoreline. And uh, yeah, for those who are asking about a Skyred NXL game, yes, I did cast a game yesterday. A lot of issues from my end. There was a lot of huge FPS drops uh, on my stream. I do apologize for that, but uh, uh, Skyred won that game. Uh, NXL dropped under the lower brackets. I think they have another game coming up. I'm assuming in that tournament you have only two top teams playing. That's NXL and Skyred. So I'm assuming it's going to be uh, them. They're going to be playing once again. And when that comes in, I will definitely be casting that game as well. As it's going to be an eco round coming up for uh, MXB here. Hell Ranger still alive in that below there in the smoke and it's an A stack though and Hell Ranger gets caught out Nate hanging on Buster and it should be another run going away for DNA so DNA on the precipice of defeat are still are still uh, they still got a mountain to climb it's still got an Everest to climb 15-6 but it's slowly but slowly I'm trying to bring it back here Rizzi gets taken down last man left standing is gonna be Okay. With the deagle, gets one. Now I'm gonna get spotted out here. <laughs> it's just gonna go for the <laughs> deagle uh, spam, and it's gotta be 15-7 here. And uh, MXP should be very comfortable there. And here we go, the white run coming out here, and I am calling that it is going to be 16-7 right now. They're going for an A setup though, where Rizzi and Buster just waiting for the play to come in. Rizzi, here's a man in Palace. But the smokes are going to delay his teammates for as long as possible. This is Buster and Rizzi just waiting there. Miss Sunday is far away, B. Push comes out, the Buster saves his teammate! Great timing coming out from Buster. The reflex comes in as well to help this uh, teammate out. Reflex down to 9 HP though. Getting spotted by the man in Palace. A smoke completely smoking off the T's as well. 